In this video, we are going to design a spur gear in SOLIDWORKS and the model I have here is 2018. So first of all, click to open the new document. Make sure it is selected at the part and click OK. A new document opens. Set the background to be the plain white and make sure the units are selected at millimeters. Now right click the part, click on hidden tree items, find equations and click on manage equations. A new dialog box appears. So in this dialog box, we are going to add some parameters of the spur gear. So first of all, we will write the module and make it equal to 2 mm. Then the number of teeth and we are going to set the number of teeth to be equal to 25. So give value equal to 25. And finally, the pressure angle of the gear, pressure angle, and its value is 20 degrees. All set. All parameters have been added. Click OK. Now click the front plane and open the sketch. Draw a circle which is centered at the coordinate axis. Click Smart Dimension and give the diameter of the circle to be equal to module multiplied by number of teeth. Module multiplied by number of teeth. Click enter and click OK. All set. Now make another circle which is also centered at the coordinate axis. Click Smart Dimension and give its diameter to be equal to number of teeth plus 2 whole multiplied by module. Number of teeth plus 2 multiplied by module. So this is a formula for the diameter of the of the gear. All set. Make the inner circle to be the construction line. Like this. Click OK. Now exit the sketch. Click features and make it extruded part. Set the direction to be the mid plane so that it will be convenient for us later. Set the width to be equal to 20 mm. Like this. Now we will see the wireframe model. Now click the front plane and open the sketch again. Now draw two circles, both centered at the coordinate axis. First circle and second circle. Good. Now click the center line and make a vertical center line like this. And along with this, create another center line, just like this. In between these two center lines, make another center line, like this. Good. Click Smart Dimension. And set the angle to be equal to 360 degrees, divided by number of teeth. 360 divided by number of teeth. Click enter and click OK. Now we will make the center line to be symmetric. Click the line, click the two points and click make symmetric. Just like this. All set. Now we will set this distance. Set this distance between the two circles to be equal to module multiplied by 2. Module multiplied by 2. This is actually the tandem now set this one by clicking smart dimension and this distance must be equal to the module multiplied by now we will apply a function if if module if module greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 1.25 then multiply it with 2.25 Otherwise, multiply it with 2.4, just like this. Click enter. So this is a formula for the depth of the gear. Uh, basically, this is a formula for the depth of the tooth. All set. Now click Smart Dimension again, and you can see the depth of the, the depth of the tooth, which should be equal to 0 0.5. Now make the previous sketch visible. Click three point arc, find this point and draw an arc. Now 
now center line draw the center line from the arc to the center we want the center line to pass through the center just like this okay now apply the constraint click center line and click the arc and make tangent good now select the arc and mirror this arc about the vertical axis now we will apply some necessary constraints click center line find the intersection point and draw the center line all the way to the next intersection point just like this now we want this point to be coincident with the intersection point so click the point click the arc and click the line and apply constraint make intersection similarly make another center line from this point to this point select the two center lines and apply constraint make equal all good so now we have applied the necessary constraints we can now set the pressure angle of the tooth draw center line make it tangent with the arc now click this point and click the center line and make them coincident just like this okay now go into the smart dimension and set the angle to be equal to the pressure angle which we set earlier angle is equals to pressure angle so this is the pressure angle of the tooth now we are good to go complete the sketch using the three point arc so that we can make the feature later on now trim extra lines so that the whole sketch can be made a feature just like this you can also see the dimension of the depth of the gear uh, basically it is the depth of the tooth this is a driven dimension okay so now exit the sketch click features click extrude cut select the sketch and set the direction to be through all sorry through all both like this click okay now we will apply the fillet at the bottom edges so select the two edges and the formula for the fillet is equal to 30% of module so select the edges click fillet and set it to be equal to 0.3 multiplied by module 0.3 multiplied by module click okay all set now we have two features cut extrude and fillet click the two features click circular pattern and set the direction to be the central axis just like this click okay all good so this is how we have designed the spur gear now we will create the shaft hole so click the front plane and open the sketch make the circle set the radius to be equal to 5 mm just like this make a rectangle
trim extra parts. This is a key way and exit the sketch. Again, select features, click extrude cut and extrude it through all both. Set the direction to be through all both. Good. Click OK. So finally, we have completed designing the spur gear in SOLIDWORKS. Set the material to be the plain carbon steel or whatever material you like. All good. So thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one.